Hello everyone, I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and today we are doing a brush stroke glitter tumbler kind of abstract kind of deal. Not sure exactly what to call it, but that's what we're going to attempt today. If that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, everyone. What I have here is a 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Craft. I will have my link for them in the description box below. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a paintbrush here and some Mod Podge. I just have the matte. It doesn't matter if you use glossy or matte. And you want a little medicine cup to put your Mod Podge in. My paintbrush here is a thinner angled brush. We're going to use Galaxy from the Glitter Grind as our first glitter. And then we're going to use Tidal Wave. And then we're going to use Desert Glow, which is just my absolute favorite gold. And then we're going to go in with Interstellar, which is my favorite silver from the Glitter Grind. And I will have my link for them in the description box below as well. Now what you want to do is you just want to put your Mod Podge into your little medicine cup or any container that you have and then you want to take your paintbrush dip it in your Mod Podge and you want to start doing some light strokes on the tumbler here and I'm starting off with the darkest color the galaxy and then you just want to just stroke your paintbrush back and forth back and forth and then tap off the excess and you're going to do that with every single color. No rhyme, no reason, just go in and start using your paintbrush. And now we're gonna go in with Tidal Wave and this glitter, oh my goodness, this glitter, it just pops up against all of these colors right here. It's absolutely amazing. And what I'm doing with the Tidal Wave is I'm just bumping all of my brush strokes up against the galaxy, up against that darkest color. And you want to continue doing that all the way around the tumbler. And you wanna focus mainly around that galaxy glitter right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to spread all the glitters outward. So we're just, mainly focusing on those certain areas and then we're going to move out. Now we're going to go in with our Desert Glow and we're going to do the same exact process. Just stroking our paintbrush back and forth in you know a back and forth motion and then putting on our Desert Glow and we're going to bump the Desert Glow up against the Tidal Wave. This right here is so gorgeous. You can also, if you see like any, this is like totally up to you. However you want to create this tumbler, it's so up to you. Whatever you feel like, wherever you feel like you want to put that glitter, you put that glitter. As long as you're doing the brush, the brush strokes. And for the last color here, we're going to do the interstellar. And now, as you can see, I hardly have any white left, so I'm just going to go up against that gold color and then fill in some of that white space. I don't want to fill in the whole thing because some of them, some of the white spaces, I do have some bigger gaps. So I will go in with different colors, different glitter colors with the, anything that's left over. But right now, I'm just focusing on the interstellar and getting my brush strokes up against the desert glow. And as you can see here, I'm going to go back in with the galaxy and fill in any little white spaces that may have been left. And then right here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to be using 
the interstellar again to kind of break up some chunkier pieces of the black. I did have some kind of like chunky like globs of the black which I didn't like so I'm just going to go with the interstellar and the desert glow again and just kind of break everything up. That way it looks a little bit more um, not like globs of glitter, I guess. <laughs> but this is the step where you want to take, like if you, there's any spots that you do not like, you can go back through and add another piece of glitter, any color that you would like. And this is where we are going to do the bottom. Now that we got the entire around the surface of the tumbler, how we like it, we're going to go in through the bottom. I already have the desert glow out, so I'm just going in with that and just doing some brush strokes at the bottom. No rhyme, no reason. And then I'm going to go in and add my desert glow to the bottom and then tap off the excess. And now I'm going to go in with my interstellar. And just like we was doing on the sides of the tumbler, I'm going to bump it up to that gold. And then I'm going to add the interstellar in those areas where I put the Mod Podge. And now up against the interstellar, I'm going to add the tidal wave. Same as before. We're going to do our brush strokes up against any of the interstellar glitter or any, whatever glitter that you used last. And then we're going to add that glitter and then tap off any excess. Now we're going to go in with our last glitter, which is the galaxy, our black glitter, and fill in these little tiny white spaces that we have left. There's not much left on the bottom. Since it's not a huge surface that we're working with, but I do want some of the darker color on there as well. And now you can see this tumbler. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal this with Rust-Oleum two times clear, <laughs> and I'm going to put two coats of epoxy on. And I will be back to show you the final result. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, y'all. We got the final reveal of this tumbler. I wasn't sure whether to put a decal on it or not. So I just left it plain because I think it's absolutely gorgeous this way. And this is our tumbler. At first, I wasn't sure about it. But... I'm digging it. I am really digging it. I love this thing. I love this tumbler. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.